So it's Andown with a going is described as soft for the HBLB handicap chase over three miles. One is Leaf River, Darren Thompson, Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith. Etch and Burn is Martin Needham. It looks like a Quake, Paul Rhodes, which is the favourite. Fiddler's Baino, David Robertson. Lord Decoy, Patrick Hogan. Also Lady Ravana, Patrick Hogan. Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry. Anna Capri, Stu Gray and Oil Baron. Graham Clutterbuck, 10 horses. Yeah, Sandown. It was a stiff jumping chest at Sandown. And away they go. And there's a sort themselves out. Out wide Quake, the favourite, has gone to the front from Rab Corbett on that one's inside. Then comes Lord Decoy with Leaf River on the rail. The red colours and the yellow cap, H and Burn. Uh, the yellow colours with the black cap, Lady Ravana. Uh, two of with similar colours. They're both Patrick Hogan's. Out wide Patrick Ho um, Stu Rose and a Capri in the black colours trying to move closer. Then comes the white Steve's white cap and dark blue colours of Magic Spell. They're followed by Oil Baron for Graham Clutterbuck and those red Steve's and red cap in the blue colours. Uh, blue and light grey stripes and the turquoise and sort of uh, light blue colours of Davy Robertson Fiddler's Baino at the back of the field but there's only about six lengths first to last as Rab Corbett jumps in front from H and Burn in second for Martin Needham out wide is Anna Capri for Stu Gray then comes the favourite Quake on the rail is Leaf River and just on that one's outside Lady Ravana uh, they're followed by the uh, H and Burn has actually dropped a few places and then at the back of the field is uh, Fiddler's Baino who's just ahead of Magic Spell but he's only six lengths first to last there's not much pace on here as uh, Rab Corbett leads from Oil Baron who's come from the back of the field to move into second then Lord Decoy for Patrick Hogan Quake on that one's outside on the inside of that is Lady Ravana Lord Decoy's uh, stable mate uh, then out wide the black colours of Anna Capri even wider Fiddler Baino a slow jump there by Lady Ravana uh, and well now a slow jump by Leaf Rivers they come to the railway fences and Rab Corbett is clear from Lad Decoy Lord Decoy in second then Fiddler's Baino uh, followed by Anna Capri uh, who's on the ins outside of Quake. Just ahead of Quake is H and Burn, with uh, ahead of that is uh, Lady Ravana. On the road is Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Oil Baron has dropped to the back of the field after some sloppy jump in a magic spell. He's on that one's inside. But they're all still standing here in, at Sandown in the three mile chase. And Rab Corp with the leader from Lord Decoy in second. Then comes Leaf River with Lady Ravana on that one's outside. They're followed by H and Burn as they jump the next. Good jump by the leader, Rab Corbett. Quake was also uh, well good over those ventures. So gained a few places in the air. Fiddler's Baino just behind those. Then comes Anna Capri, the black colours for Stu Gray. On the road is uh, Magic Spell at the back of the field. Oil Baron for Graham Clutterbuck. They've stretched the field out a bit now. It's about uh, 10 minutes first to last. And Rab Corbett was very ponderous over that fence. Lucky to still be standing. Made a mistake, reached for it. And, uh, just got to the other side as jumped the next. Rab Corbett in front, but not so far clear now from Lord Decoy in second. Lady Ravine on that one's inside as they pass the uh, crowds for the first time. And the boss stands for the first time going up the hill. Rab Corbett leads from Lord Decoy in second. Fiddler's Baino has moved up into third. Then comes Leaf River as they pass the winning post for the penultimate time and head off on their final circuit. Next to Leith River is Lady Ravana and out wide of that is H and Burn. Then comes Magic Spell who's passed a few. Quake is on the outside of Magic Spell. Oil Baron is one from last and Anna Capri for Stu Gray has dropped to the back of the field as Rab Corbett still leads from Lord Decoy in second but only by a length now. Fiddler Baino has travelled well but has travelled wide most of the race and at Sandown I think that might be an issue. A Leaf River on the inside of uh, Fiddler's Baino. Then comes H and Burn. In between horses is Lady Ravana. Out wide is Quake for, uh, for Paul Rose. Also going wide for most of the way. Magic Spell is on that one's inside. Oil Baron is up the inside of Magic Spell and Anna Capra is in danger of getting losing touch with the rest of the field. Now about three lengths adrift off uh, the back the second last horse. So Lord D Decoy has now joined Rab Corbett in front and Patrick Hogan's Lord Decoy goes to the lead from Rab Corbett. Three lengths back to Fiddler's Baino on the outside of the Leaf River. Then in between those two is H and Burn for Martin Needham. They're followed by Quake for Paul Rhodes. Then comes Lady Ravana to so jump the next fig. Oil Baron for Graham Clutterbuck on the inside of Lady Ravana. Then Magic Spell and Anna Capri still in touch at the stage with only about 10 minutes first to last. They've got seven furlongs left to go and Lord Decoy leads now for Patrick Hogan from Rab Corbett, the long time leader in second who seems to be struggling. Then comes Fiddler's Baino, They're followed by Leaf River, H and Burn between horses. Then comes Quake, followed by Lady Ravana, Magic Spell behind that, Oil Baron, just on the inside of Magic Spell and pushed along at the back, Anna Capri. Although not many have played their cards yet as uh, Lloyd Decoy, he's one who has and he's gone to the front, two lanes clear. Leaf River is creeping close 
closer with H and Burn. Then comes Fiddler's Bane. Quakes with a poor jump at the last time. Lost a few places on the inside of Lady Ravana. And the Royal Fence is, of course, in some issues for some horses. The Royal Baron is gone. Some have made slump sloppy jumps. And it's Lord Decoy who gone to, goes to the front from Rab Corby who's trying to rally. H and Burn moving closer. Between horses, Leaf River is coming forward strongly for Darren Thompson. And Leaf River comes to join Lord Decoy in the front. So it's Leaf River and Lord Decoy from Rab Corby who's still there trying to rally. H and Burn on that one's outside. Then comes Fiddler's Bainer. Uh, followed by Lady Ravana, the favourite Quake is getting going out wide. And Anna Capri is still in it. Magic spell has no chance. It's Leaf River picks it up for Darren Thompson, but jumps it slowly, allowing Ra Lil Deco up on the inside. Three in the line behind that. Fiddler's Bane, no, Lady Ravana, and Quake. They're still going in the front. It's Lord Deco and Leaf River. Lady Ravana, here comes Quake and Fiddler's Bane, but Leaf River picks it up for Darren Thompson. Leaf River has come to the front from Lord Deco. They come to the next. Leaf River jumps it okay from Lord Deco in the inside. It's La Leaf River. Lord Deco is trying to rally. Leaf River, Lord Deco. They come to the next. Lord Deco jumps a bit, and Patrick Ogles, Lord Deco, is going clear in the HLB. HBLB handicap chase and Lord Decoy stretching clear as they come to the post and Patrick Hogan win, is going to win the handicap chase at Sandown with Lord Decoy. Lee Ferrer is second. They're followed by H and Burn, then Fiddler's Bano and Quake. Uh, magic spells behind that with Anna Capri finishing last of the finishers. So the horses have travelled wide for the most of the way, sort of found out near the finish, which does happen here at Sandown. Fiddler's Bano and Quake sort of petered, tangents petered out as they. Uh, Went right up the home stretch, but the winner was Lord Decoy for Patrick Hogan, Lee Ferrer second for Darren Thompson, Martin Leatham's H. and Burn was third, then for Despaino and Quake the favourite finished back in fifth. A good win for Patrick Hogan with Lord Decoy.